Hey, what's up guys? Back on the Titanium Octopus. It's been a little bit, been growing the business, bringing in new machines, building the academy, putting out crazy content. And, uh, but now it's time to go ahead and finish off the octopus, okay? So I wanted to jump on and actually show you guys that now we are finishing the top. I'm gonna finish it, I'm gonna finish a bunch of the legs on the outside, then I'm gonna go through the legs it's going to be all hollow inside, and there'll be just a couple tabs holding it to a wreath on the bottom. Crazy, right? So see this line right here? Basically, everything down here is rough material, and now we've started the finishing process up here. All these legs will be loose in the air. It's 604 v titanium. If you guys haven't seen any of the previous videos, we started off with a 500 pound beast piece of 604B titanium. Special thanks to TMS Titanium out there. And uh, we've just been cutting it away. So the multi-axis tool path that we're using in Mastercam is called Unified. It's new for 2022. Now when you look at this octopus, you can see just crazy surfaces going everywhere. Now for the main tool path, I needed to make sure that I wasn't going to be limited. Meaning like a lot of tool paths are for an angle or for a flat or for a certain radius, right? So this particular tool path actually incorporates more parallel, a long curve and project all together so basically as you go over a surface to another surface it'll incorporate multiple tool paths seamlessly together and this was great because i was able to actually just go ahead and grab the head of the octopus and just wrap all the way around it and allow the mastercam algorithm to just take the tool paths and put them together to make it absolutely perfect We're talking high level multi-axis surfacing. Now I don't want to make the video too long, but I got to give you some of this knowledge right here and tell you how I actually made that happen. Okay. It's like really cool. So first off, took the head, took the mesh, right? Whenever we're programming, we're taking a surface, we're clicking that surface and we're saying, Hey, take the tool on the left side and actually climb mill right around there. Now with surfacing, we're going to a ball end mill. I came in with a half inch end mill, and then I came in with a three eighths end mill, and then I'll come in with a quarter inch just to get a lot of these features. I'm gonna go all inside here and hollow all that out also. It's gonna be insane. So one of the things that I had to do is this surface has bumps all over it. It is absolutely realistic to a real octopus right here. And when you look at five axis programs, the tool when hitting a bump will actually rock violently all the way over. And with this surface and all of these bumps right here and all these contours and angles, just to get a short distance would be rocking all over the place. So how did we get past that? I took the head, the mesh, I duplicated it so I had two of them, okay? And then I took the copy, went up to mesh on the top bar, and then went to smooth mesh, where I smooth the mesh. Now the reason that I did that was I needed a smooth surface to drive the tool, okay? So instead of having it rocking, I needed it to go straight up in one motion, back down, up, nice and smooth.
now that we have the direction and the mesh is smooth, how do we get the bumps? Now you have the smooth mesh that drives the tool, but we're still using both meshes. So both copies, one to drive the tool, and then we're gonna use the second one in collision control. So we're gonna to go to collision control, we're gonna to go to avoid geometries, and we're gonna actually click on the mesh that has all the bumps on it. And we're gonna say avoid that. Now the smooth mesh just took the bumps and got smoother, but because they're in the exact same place and one has bumps and one doesn't, by saying avoid the bumps, you basically travel up the smooth and then every time it hits a bump, it goes over the bump to avoid the bump. Therefore using both meshes, smooth and bumpy in unison for success. Oh, that's why I love this trade because there's so many different levels. So whether you run Mastercam or you're a student, you're a teacher, or you're just a fan of machining, I hope you learned something today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. That helps us bring awareness to our industry. Put your comments down below and stay tuned for the next videos where we finish the octopus off. Boom. Love you guys. Love this industry. I'll see you guys later.